Hello, and welcome to this for the Client 5.0 video. In this video, you'll see how to perform remote client provisioning over VPN. In order for a remote endpoint to access the corporate LAN network, it must first establish a VPN connection with the FortiGate. Once a connection has been established, the endpoint must register with the FortiGate, which then deploys the endpoint profile. Access to the corporate LAN network is only granted after the endpoint becomes compliant. Both the FortiGate and the endpoint will have to be set up to support this topology. Let's start by provisioning the FortiGate. What's required to provision a FortiGate for SSL VPN clients versus IPsec VPN clients are slightly different. We'll start with the SSL VPN provisioning. First, log in to your FortiGate. After logging in, locate the VPN section and click on Config under SSL, which takes you to the SSL VPN settings page. Select Enable Endpoint Registration and click Apply. Next, go back up to the Policy section and click on Policy. We'll create a new policy here with the VPN type, and the subtype should be SSL VPN. The incoming interface will be set to our WAN interface and remote address to all. The local interface will be our switch interface, and the local protected subnet is the internal subnet. Next, we'll create a new authentication rule for the pre-configured cells group. Note, you can either choose group or users here. The schedule will set to always and service to all. The SSL VPN portal will be set to full access. We would like to select Log Allow Traffic and turn on Antivirus Web Filter for this rule. Click OK when you're done, and then click OK to save this new policy. Notice in addition to the rule we just created, a second interface rule connecting the SSL VPN tunnel interface to our local switch interface has also been added. This is done automatically whenever an appropriate interface rule does not exist for a newly created SSL VPN rule. Like other rules, you can click on the rule to view and make changes to it. In our case, we will select Log Allowed Traffic. Click OK to save this rule. And that's all we need to do to provision our FortiGate to support SSL VPN clients. You can now log out of our FortiGate. The next step is to set up the endpoint so you can connect and register with the FortiGate. Simply download the free FortiClient software from FortiClient.com and follow the standard installation procedure. Start by launching FortiClient. Select the Remote Access tab and click on Configure VPN. Enter the name of the connection as well as IP address of the remote gateway. Click OK to save this new VPN connection. On the next screen, enter your username and password to connect. You will see a notification bubble when the SSL VPN connection is up. A dialog window will appear, prompting you to register with the FortiGate. Click Confirm to register with the credentials shown. After successful registration, the FortiGate will automatically deploy the endpoint profile. You'll see a notification bubble when this is done, indicating configuration update was received from FortiGate. With the newly compliant endpoint, we're now able to access the corporate LAN network. Note the FortiClient GUI displays the hostname of the FortiGate the endpoint is registered to, as well as the registered username. We can also see our newly registered endpoint from our FortiGate. Log in to the FortiGate under User and Device, Device, and device definition, you'll be able to see the newly registered endpoint and details of the device. Now similarly, we can set up endpoint protection for endpoints connected over IPsec VPN. Start by logging into your FortiGate. Under VPN and IPsec, we'll create a new VPN connection with the name Remote VPN. The local outgoing interface will be set to when and we'll enter a pre-shared key. The user group will be our sales group with an address range start IP and end IP as well as subnet mask as shown. Also, we'll need to select internal subnet 
as the accessible network. Once you're all done, click OK. Awarding to configure the appropriate policy, click OK. So we'll go ahead to the policy page. Under policy and policy, we'll create new. The new policy will be based on device identity. Set the income interface to our remote VPN. The source address to all. And outgo interface to the switch interface. Also enable NAT and click Create New to create a new authentication rule. This rule will apply to all destination address for Windows PCs as well as Macs that are compliant with the endpoint profile. We'll set the schedule to Always and Service to All. Action will be to Accept. We'll select the option to Log Allowed Traffic and turn on Antivirus. Click OK. After setting the authentication rule, we can select additional policy options, including attempt to detect all unknown device types before implicit deny, and also redirecting any non-compliant for declined devices to a captive portal for Windows PCs as well as Mac OS X devices. Click OK when you're all done. The steps to configure your endpoint to connect and register with the FortiGate over IPsec VPN are very similar to those of the SSL VPN. Registering your remote endpoints with FortiGates allow you to enjoy additional features such as central management and monitoring, central logging and reporting, as well as policy compliance and enforcement. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.